बाप का अ केक और ब्रेड और मे बी बोथ So babka babka was originated in the Jewish communities of Ukraine and Poland which is made of a rich brioche dough that is traditionally filled with cinnamon filling but today in this video we are going to use chocolate filling some people call it a bread some people call it a cake but whatever it is it's going to be amazing so let's begin Okay so the first thing we're going to do is activating the yeast here i got 200 ml lukewarm milk and the temperature of it should be anywhere between 90 to 110 degrees fahrenheit to that we are going to add a teaspoon granulated sugar and 14 grams active dry yeast then mix until the yeast is completely dissolved and let it sit for 10 minutes at room temperature make sure you got the right temperature because if the milk is too hot the yeast will die and if it's cold then the yeast will not activate Meanwhile in a stand mixer's bowl we are going to add 3 whole eggs that are at room temperature plus 2 egg yolks 100 grams granulated sugar our activated yeast which after sitting for 10 minutes should get all frothy and foamy as you are seeing right now and 1 teaspoon vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract then whisk all of them to combine and add 750 grams all purpose flour then place the bowl on the stand mixer attach the dough hook we start the mixer on the lowest speed and mix everything for like 1 minute then we are going to add half a teaspoon fine sea salt and continue kneading until a cohesive dough forms once we have a cohesive dough we are going to start adding 160 g of unsalted butter slowly in small quantities while it's kneading the dough once all the butter is added we are going to increase the speed to medium low and continue kneading the dough for like 5 to 6 minutes until the butter is fully incorporated The butter is going to stick to the sides of the bowl so keep scraping down the sides intermittently to get all that butter back in. Once the butter is completely incorporated we are going to continue kneading the dough for an additional 3 minutes until it becomes soft, smooth and slightly elastic. Then stop the mixer, dust a very little flour onto the work surface, transfer the dough onto it and knead it very briefly for like 1 minute just to align those gluten networks in the dough. Then we are going to tuck all the corners under the dough itself, shape it into a smooth ball. Press the dough to shape it into a square and wrap it very tightly with the plastic wrap making sure it's completely covered from all sides and then we are going to refrigerate it for 12 hours resting the dough in the refrigerator is going to allow the yeast leaven at a very slow pace which is going to give our dough a very very complex flavor now before we pull the dough out of the fridge we are going to make the chocolate filling for the babkas so we are going to place a heat proof bowl over a pot of simmering water making sure it's not touching the water at all to that we are going to add 120 g of unsalted butter and 250 g 70% cacao dark chocolate chips then mix them with a the spatula until the chocolate is completely melted then we are going to remove it from the pot and add 12 g cocoa powder 120 g powdered sugar and then mix mix and mix until we have a thick shiny chocolate paste just like this Next we are going to grease two 8 and a half by 4 and a half inch loaf pans with softened unsalted butter and line them up with long enough parchment paper so we have these two handles to pull out the babkas without any hassle when they are done baking. And after 12 hours you will see that the dough has gotten quite puffy and almost doubled in size because of all the slow fermentation that happened overnight. Now we are going to divide it into two equal parts. Wrap one of the pieces with the plastic wrap again so it doesn't form a layer and let it sit at the counter while we are working with one of the pieces. Then lightly flour the work surface and top of the dough as well and roll it out into 15 by 18 inch rectangle. You might have to put a little extra effort while rolling as the dough is still a little cold. But while rolling if you see that your dough is shrinking back a lot then I suggest you covering the dough with a plastic wrap and let it relax for 5 to 10 minutes so it's a little easier for you to roll out. And keep dusting a little bit of flour whenever you feel it is required and keep moving the dough so it doesn't stick to the work surface. And once you are done rolling measure it with a measuring tape to make sure you got the right size because the final look of this product totally depends on it. Then we are going to rotate it so we have the longer side facing us which is 18 inches. Then put half of the chocolate filling onto it and then spread it using an offset spatula leaving quarter inch space on the edges of the dough. Then using our fingertips we are going to roll up the dough into a very tight log by rolling and pulling it back at the same time because the tighter the dough is rolled the more layers the babka is going to have. So go nice and slow take enough time and don't rush with this thing. Once we have a tight log we are going to pinch the seams to seal it then carefully transfer it to a baking sheet keeping the seam side down then keep it covered with a plastic wrap and repeat the same with the second piece of the dough Now transfer the log onto the work surface keeping the seam side down and cut it in half lengthwise right from the center using a serrated knife Now the next step is weaving these strips together 
So we are gonna place one strip diagonally keeping the chocolate filling side exposed like so and overlap the other strip keeping the chocolate filling side exposed as well. So we basically made a letter X with those strips. Now we are gonna weave them together as tightly as possible and you should have at least two twists on each side from the center. Then we are gonna squeeze it very gently while twisting at the same time to bring it together like so and then transfer it to the loaf pan keeping the filling side up. Now place these loaf pans on a half sheet pan which is gonna prevent the bottom of the babkas from excessive browning while baking. Cover them with damp clothes and let them proof at room temperature for 1.5 to 2 hours or until doubled in size. They might take longer or shorter depending on the temperature of your kitchen so keep checking once in a while to save them from overproofing. Now while they are proofing we are gonna make a very simple sugar syrup that is gonna be used to brush these babkas after they are done baking. So to a sauce pot we are gonna add 80 milliliters water and 100 grams granulated sugar and then bring it to a simmer over a medium heat while moving the pan continuously until the sugar is completely dissolved. Then transfer it to a small container and set it aside. And in the last 20 minutes of proofing process we are gonna preheat the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. And after 2 hours our babkas are doubled in size, now we are gonna place them in the middle rack of the oven and bake them for anywhere between 45 to 50 minutes. After 20 minutes we are gonna rotate the pans and continue baking for another 10 minutes until they are deep golden brown in color. And after 30 minutes we are gonna tend them with aluminum foil and continue baking for another 10 to 15 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches between 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit which ensures that they are cooked to a perfection internally as well. Now while they are still hot we are gonna brush them generously with the sugar syrup that we made which is gonna create a very thin crust on the surface and lock all the moisture so the babkas don't dry out. And also it's gonna give our babkas a very nice shiny look and of course make them look more beautiful than they already are. And use all of that syrup, believe me the babkas are gonna soak all of it. Once done brushing we are gonna let them cool down for at least 20 to 25 minutes. Now let's take a moment to admire this beautiful babka that we just baked. Then cut a slice and eat this thing. This babka is a little crusty on the outside, has a crumbly cake like texture, it's really chocolatey, it's buttery, it's rich, it's firm and absolutely delicious. Alright guys that was it for today, if you guys make this babka, share your pictures on Instagram, I would love to see how it turned out for you guys and if you enjoyed watching this video, give this video a like, share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video, till then, bye bye.